Happy first stream of the year. Welcome to the classiest place on earth. My name's Classy Katie, and it's officially 2021. 2020 is literally history now. I'm so happy that it's not here anymore. Nebraska is cold. It's cold and it's Courtney. Happy Faded Friday. Guys, I'm so fucking tired. I'm going to do my best today, but I don't think I slept very much at all. Fucking dude. I, we stayed up so late last night. I think I was up until 3 in the morning, and then I got up at 7 with the dogs. So, that's fun. I'm tired, and I'm pretty sure I was still pretty high this morning when I woke up. Why no sleep? Well, we stayed up for all the New Year's. Like, I, I streamed, like, nine hours, I think. Eliza and I streamed together for nine hours, which was insane. And then I went over to Zeke's stream. Whoa. I'm not actually from Nebraska. I'm sorry if that was misleading. <laughs> I had an RP character from Nebraska. Yep, I agree, Andrew. We all just need to stay inside, be safe. Um, today is going to be littered with uh, rehousing scorpions. I have lots of little containers ready, and I've just been waiting for them to crawl out one at a time. I got one this morning. He's right here. Somewhere in here. Probably under the log. But we got one. So, if I go, oh my god, hold on, it's because I see one crawl out and I'm going to grab it. It's just like a one at a time kind of thing. And poor second Bloody Mary, get it. Yesterday was fun and chill. It was. I had a really good time. I was just so tired. After we got Taco Bell and then we stayed up watching Bob's Burgers. Oh, did you go hunting this morning? Was it beautiful? Hi, oh, Andrew. We'll hang out. Are you off on Eliza's birthday? I have it. I have your link up, Slaith. I already have it. I got it. Seriously? Oh, my God. Penis. How many milligrams? Um, So I took five 2.5 gram milligram. Five 2.5 gram edibles. I wasn't quite on the moon. But, I mean, I had that thing, you know, when your eyes move, but, like, everything else moves slower. You ate 50 milligrams, Vissy? Oh, my God, how'd you feel? Andrew, if you're off on the 7th, you should hang with Eliza and I for her birthday. We're going to smoke Keef bowls and hang out. I'm going to pack a bowl. I literally just... Oh, I didn't put water in it. God damn it. I just cleaned my little... I got my cute little uh, crystal ball. Bong. Little bubbler. You're not? Great, Andrew. Great. Well... We'll plan something. We'll plan something. How's everyone's year going so far? I hope good. I'm putting water in my bong. Sorry. My wee little bubbler. Have you, you tried to slow motion drink your bong water? Yep. I was going to cheers with that. Remember when I threatened to drink bong water? That was pretty funny. Oh, you got snow? That's kind of nice, though. I like... Is it pretty snow? Dude, Dr. Stim. Fuck yeah. I love ginger. Ginger is such an underrated spice to put in soup. No, the dogs knocked the bong over. That wasn't me. That was Lilith. Thank God it didn't spill. That bong's really hard to spill, actually, I've found, which is great. Because of, like, the weird cactus shape, it didn't spill. Like, there was no water on the ground. It was pretty phenomenal. The bowl flew across the room, but... Good evening, Melancholic. How are you? So far, 20... Oh, Viata. Boo. Oh, my God. Ginger and cinnamon pancakes. Go fuck yourself. Candied gingers. Like, I love those little... What are they called? Gingies? Those chewy ginger snacks? Oh, they're so good. Is it beautiful? Yes. Oh, my God, Myron. It was... Zeke was so tired. Like, I felt... I felt like I kind of, like, came in and brought in a lot of energy he was not ready for at the end of his stream... Because he literally sat there yesterday and watched nine hours of Best and Zeke. Found a species with only 30. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Oh, nice. Oh, man. I miss those early morning hunting trips when it's all foggy and quiet. Had a nap. I, I need a nap. But I Zeke was going to, Zeke's doing like his little, you know, whatever. What is that? It's like game of the year thing with drop frames. So I was like, fuck it. I'll stream and hang out with my community. Whatever. We can, like, chit-chat or something. 
you know, Eliza, I got um, I got that little one. It looks, it's like the little Mario bubbler. You can't get the water out. Like I haven't used it since the first time I cleaned it because you literally like have to put your mouth on one and blow the water out because it's all tubed inside, if that makes sense. Like everything is tubed. There's no like open side. It's a pain in the ass. I was like, fuck this. This one sucks. You can't pour the water out. No, thank you. But this one's my favorite, probably. This one or the, I really like all of them, but this one's really good. Dude, right, Vissy? You literally can't. Yeah, it looks like it's it's like a little Mario rig, and it came with, like, the little flower bowls. Knives! How is your wine drunkness, and is your mouth purple? I don't know if you noticed yesterday as the chat was going fast. I reminded you to come. Oh, my God. Thank you. Well, I did notice, and I remember saying that to you, but... I stayed up until 3 a.m. and I was really tired, so I completely forgot, but I will do that. Sorry. I'm very tired. I did not sleep very much. I'm doing my best. Good morning, darling. How are you? Happy 2021. I haven't smoked weed in 2021. Oh, my God. It's not purple. It was good, and I drank a tongue a good. Water is key. New York-style pizza that does vegan cheese... It's literally called sexy pizza, but is it good vegan cheese or is it disgusting like day egg? Vegan blood cheese? orgy! Yay! Yay blood, blood orgy! orgy. Blood blood orgy. orgy. Yay. It's my first raid of 2021 and it's 21 people. Whoa. Whoa. 21 person raid from Legume in first raid of the year. Uh, thank you. So, how far are you into the Backlog Comics? I am in the middle of the big black one. What's it called? Um, it's in my bedroom. The big black one that's like the... Oh my god, what is it called? Why I can see the cover on it. The big black one is the one I'm in the middle of right now. You astral projected and moved around in third person? Oh my god, Taco, that sounds amazing. Sexy's local chain. I'm gonna have to try it out. I don't like Dea. Dea feels like I'm eating glue. It, like, sticks to your teeth, and it sticks to the roof of your mouth, and it's creepy. Dude, Andrew, shut the fuck up. Get out of my brain. Literally, exactly. Yes. There's so much of that disgusting. I gotta, I'm packing a bowl. I'm right with you, Abyss. Give me one second. Um, yeah, a lot of that vegan cheese, it, like, is glue in your mouth. Thank you, Andrew. I'm glad you said it, and I'm not the only one. Where is my grinder? Where is she? Oh, I think my grinder's in my bedroom. Oh, well. I have another one. Uh, Shanoa is my friend and she's afraid of arachnids. Can you educate her about tarantulas? Oh my god, what do you want to know? Do you have, like, legitimate arachnophobia or are you just, like, icky spiders? Did you know that there's not one tarantula in the entire world that's deadly or could kill you? That's a fun tarantula fact. Um, also, they breathe out of their belly. They don't breathe through their mouth. Um, they're giant pussies. They're afraid of everything. They're pretty slow. Oh, man, what kind of cool spider fact could I give out? Um, let me see. What do I got? Um, I've got big tarantulas out right now, but they're so far away you wouldn't be able to see them on camera. I'm trying to think of a cool... I mean, okay, do you want to know the most, the most prolific defense mechanism of a tarantula? If that tarantula is scared or thinks you're going to eat it, do you want to know what it does? It quite literally brushes hair off its butt at you. They shed at you. They go, flick, 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 and hope hair comes off. They have paws. I have a legit phobia on them as well, just, but I hate them. Dude, I totally respect a phobia. One of my best friends, uh, Alchemy, is completely phobic, and she's my mod. I don't surprise people with them, ever. Their dance, oh my god, that's probably a really adorable thing. So tarantulas do something called a happy dance. When they get a roach or a worm or something, once they have it in their teeth and they know it's, like, dead they will start spinning in a circle and just poking their butt at the ground. And it looks like they're dancing, like they do this with their butt and they do a little dance, but really they're laying down a mat of web to eat their food. They literally make themselves a picnic blanket. I'd write a, oh, dude. Are you a salmon pink? Oh, dude, I don't. I have one bird eater, but it's a baby. It's like this big. Really? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm sad about phobias because like, you know, tarantula spiders, for the most part, are, like, harmless. Like, exceedingly harmless. 
but they've just got this creepy nature and like this really bad rap, but they're just big idiots, kind of. I'm trying to see if I have one I could take out and show you, if anyone's just out. They're nocturnal, so they don't come out during the day usually. Um, so, but like, I've got some pretty big ones, then they're dope. Like, I prefer tarantulas almost ever over everything else. I have geckos too. Genoa, do you like geckos? I have cresties. Ours is medium and called salmonella. Shut up. Oh, Lady Taco, it's so weird. The best way I can describe what it feels like is it feels like something walking on you, but its feet are made of feathers, but it has weight. It's like if you just took a baby feather and just kind of poked your hand with it, that's what their feet feel like because they're furry. They have paws. It's adorable. <gasps> I love reptiles too. I have two snakes, nine geckos. <gasps> I love leopard geckos. Little grippy feet. Their grippy feet are the cutest thing in the entire world ever. I love them. I have so many. I have a Woma python and a ball python. Both normals. My wife has arachnophobia. She says it developed when she swatted a spider in a billion... <gasps> I don't like swarmy baby spiders. I love leopard geckos, but I don't have any. I have lots of cresties, though, and they're so cute. If you want to see one. I don't normally pull them out because they're nocturnal, but it's special. You're here. You're a friend of my friend. I know. Spiders need better PR. Like, honestly, if we didn't have spiders, do you know how many mosquitoes would be in the world? And, like, ticks and shit? Oh, yeah. Packing a bowl, Katie. Sorry, I'm doing it. I promise. What snakes? Ooh, a Woma python. So, my Woma's over there. Both my snakes are kind of in, like, winter mode, so they're really boring right now. Do you want to see one? I'll grab one of my geckos for you. I'll grab my spicy girl. Um, I got this girl from a breeder a while back. And she's full grown. She's beautiful. She's a Dalmatian crested gecko, but she is wild. I can tell she's never been held. I'm still working with her. She actually dropped her tail, which I hate. She did it in the middle of the fucking night. No idea why, where that came from. Tail was off. She's a bitch. But I kind of like their frog butts. They're kind of adorable. I'm going to put a dab on it and then I'll cheers with the allies. I'm almost there. I still feel high from yesterday from the edibles. So let's see how this goes. My metabolism is really slow as well. I should probably toss that out there. <coughs> <coughs> no, I talk animal literally. Shanoa, if, if you've talked to Legume at all, my life is animals. Like, you would probably never want to come in my house because I have over 50 tarantulas, but I, I love them. I love animals. Did you take your joy today? I don't think anyone in my community gets bored by animals because I talk about them too much. Oh, I'm sorry. I call LZT legume because Simon is just not fitting and LZT, like people always are like, what's LZT? What's Lima Zilatango? And I'm like, you're a bean now. Oh, Myron, how'd you run out, dude? You're always telling me to refill your shit. Refill your... Oh, I didn't take my joy today, though. Take your joy. What? Does ZK have animals too? He has a scorpion named Oz. He has an emperor scorpion named Oz who's pretty fucking badass. I love you, Myron. I'm not giving you a hard time, man. I just want you to feel good. That's all. I just want you to feel right with the world. Cheers. Something called hope? What is it? I'll meet at a distance then. Yeah, my house is like, my house is like the phobia center. It's like snakes and spiders and scorpions. And what else do I have over here? I have a frog. <laughs> Accidental frog. It's a one-to-one, -one, so it's a CBD THC? Or is it like a, is it just CBD, but it's got like two different kinds? I've always used the kind called um, Suck It. The brand is literally called Suck It, but I really like them. Oh, <gasps> Taco, shut up. Oh my God, she's beautiful, dude. I've never seen one so white. That's so pretty. CBD and THC, nice. Yeah, one-to-ones are good. Happy New Year, Magnesimo. Okay, let's cheers. I did a beautiful bowl of, what did I grind up? I ground up some lemon bamf. This is our first bowl of 2021. Lemon bamf, and I put a fat dab of wedding cake on top. 
It's a lemon party, y'all. Oh, Chinoa, dude, seriously, I'm living my childhood fantasy. Like, since the day I was born, and since I was conscious, I've been telling my mom, when I'm rich and famous, I'm just going to have a house full of animals because my mom doesn't like them. And I've, I'm not rich and famous, but I'm definitely, like, working on the, you know, living my dream. This is my best life. Like, I'm just so, I live in happiness. I know, since I'm rich now, exactly. Where the fuck's my lighter? All right, let's cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Dude, Stim Geek, it is my best life. Like, I'm living my my fantasy of a child. <coughs> Are you serious about the Jeep and only cans? Yes. I think that would be hilarious. I'm nowhere near buying a Jeep, by the way. I do not have that amount of money. <coughs> but I think it'd be funny to make that a goal for my only cans. Just, like, don't pull out any of the money until I have enough to buy a car and then walk in and be like, do the whole deal. And then when I'm about to pay, be like, it's cash and I made it from porn. Thank you for the car. <coughs> oh my god, I love Besso! Me too. Oh my god, lunch biz. I got the best bong. It's in my bedroom. It's like like a it, literally the bong looks like a planted cactus, but it holds so much water. <coughs> Past year, we can say that now. I got a house, a second Labrador pup, he's asleep, and landed my first. Dude, for real talk, like 2021 personally was great for me. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm disgusting. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands and pull my gecko out real quick. <coughs> For our new friend. Um, give me one sec. I'm just gonna go wash my hands real quick. I don't wanna get shit on the on the gecko. <coughs> My spicy girl pepper isn't she cute why does it look so oh my god why does it look so bright get my shirt for a sec hold up you look really bright there we go isn't she cute? So this is Pepper. And she is a Dalmatian leopard gecko. Or Dalmatian. As you can see, they love to jump. Love to jump. And it's honestly my favorite thing ever. I think it's really cute. But you can see she lost her goddamn tail. And I hate it. You had a pretty tail. You had a gorgeous tail. Isn't she cute? No, they don't grow back knives. They're like one of the only geckos in the world that don't grow their fucking tail back. It's, oh my god, it's really annoying. They do not grow them back. This sucks. Isn't she cute? She's um. Almost about full grown. Like I could take my male out and show you the difference. You can see the difference in them, their size. My male's a little bit bigger, but I do want to breed them. She is a confetti leopard, uh, confetti Dalmatian crested gecko, excuse me. Which means that she has no stripes, no nothing on her. She's a pure color and just spots, like ink blots. And her potential boyfriend, the guy who humps me all the time, He's also a confetti, but he's red. So I figured they'd have really pretty babies. 
Isn't she gorgeous? She's gonna jump again. She's gonna jump on the monitor? Do it. Nah, they never grow back. It sucks. They're the only one, though. But yeah, this is Pepper. We named her Pepper literally because of the spots. She looks like Pepper. And she is my spiciest fucking gecko. Like, she hates to be held. I mean, I can just tell whoever the breeder was did not socialize her. You know what I mean? Like, she just has no idea how to be a social gecko, which is kind of shitty. She's, I'm working with her, you know? It takes time. She's an adult. Like, I got her as an adult. So working with an adult and getting an adult to trust you is harder. Oh, their feet are so cool. They're like webbed. Seriously, their legs are webbed. It's because they kind of like fly when they jump, you know? All right. I'll get out the male really quick so you can see the difference in their size. So that's the female. Jesus Christ. One of my females. One of my pretty females. And let me get the boy, and you'll see how calm he is. is Sherbert, and this is a male. He's always trying to fuck me, so if he like bites me and starts humping, don't be alarmed. He's just horny. But you can see his little frog butt. That's what grows back. <laughs> like, that's it. That's it. It's just a little pointy thing. But isn't he pretty? They literally, I'm not even calling, kidding you, Razzy, they call him frog butts. Watch, he's rubbing his ass on me. He's just so horny. Like, he wants to fuck everything. It's so funny. Oh, Taco, I know. Yes, yep. Literally, my girl dropped her tail in the middle of the fucking night. Nothing was happening. Literally nothing. But you can see, he's fucking cute and chunky. He's just a boy, and he wants to have sex, and I don't want to breed him yet. Their feet are pretty cool though, and they dangle. That's my boy. I fucking love him. So like I said, he's a he's a um, confetti, so he has more than one color spot. You can see. Um, he also has a huge crest. You see the top of his head, like how big his crown is. I love it. Not all cresties get like that big crown on their head. But his is like floppy and really nice. It looks like a little dinosaur, I love it. But, oh dude, I know. And he, what he does is he grips me with his back legs and just like drags his nuts on me aggressively. But they're adorable and I love them. And their feet, I mean look at the feet. They're like the perfect hybrid between a frog and a lizard. It's so weird. Like, and maybe a pterodactyl, I don't know. Look at him. I love him. Hi, Allie, how you feeling today, honey? Anoles, anoles and like day geckos and stuff, you're not, you can't really hold them. I mean, these guys, like you can see what I mean by tamed down. See how he chills and he trusts me more? Whereas that girl is like, this is what happens when you actually work with your geckos. They're nice. Even though they try to fuck you. Oh, you're a cute boy. And I love their eyes. Their eyes are so cool looking. You just got to witness a 
gecko yawn. Did anyone just see that? So cute, I almost died. How much? Oh my god, Taco, it's so cheap. Do you want to see a baby? I have a three month old, so this guy's about two years old, and I have a baby. Do you want to see the baby and what it lives in? That was, I, that was fucking precious. I'm alone in the, dark. Can I be where you the little one's so goddamn cute. Look at him, he's licking his face. Let me grab my baby. You know I'll be over all over that Instagram like a kid on cake. Yeah, the baby dino, I mean you'll see the difference in them, how small they are. It's pretty crazy. I've never seen my grand well, I've seen them yawn, but not on my hand. Oh my god, I just realized the meow music is really loud and I apologize. I'm sorry if that music was super loud. I didn't have my headphones on. Okay. So when I purchased, I believe it was Pepper? I think when I, I think it was Pepper, one of my adult Cresties that I purchased, the owner offered me a free gecko. He was like, I did this really cool red project last year and I have all, I have a really good brood of just pure red geckos. Do you want one for free? And I was like, yes, yes I do. Of course, why would I turn down a baby crested gecko? Because they're insanely easy to take care of. As long as you're home, you take your often. joy today. Never forget to take your joy and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Oh, hold on, LZT. I can't reach my mouse. Ugh. It wasn't bad balance-wise. Not the best. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. What a beautiful eyeball. Jesus Christ, that's a gorgeous gecko. Free is free, right? Zeke, saw Zeke's Christmas present to you last night. That shit was epic. Jackass, I had a heart attack. I still can't watch the VOD. Than I do to the frog. Well, the frog is way lower maintenance, to be honest. The frog eats more, but like, I don't have to like mist him and prepare liquid diet for him. I just throw food in. I would love a small boy on, please. Um, one of my geckos is, hold on, I gotta give you a permit, honeybean. One of my geckos is local and the rest of them I um, got from breeders online that I found. Oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's look at this fucking yawn real quick. You're a cute boy. And I love their eyes. Their eyes are so cool looking. <laughs> cute. We just got to witness. Gecko yawn. Oh, you're a cute boy. And I love their eyes. Their eyes are so <sighs> cool looking. Oh. Cute. I love my animals, you guys. I sit here at my desk in my off hours and I just stare at them. And it makes me really happy. I don't know why, but it does. I'm setting up camera too, because this guy's really, really small and I want you guys to be able to see him. Her, it. We named them Ember. I have no idea if it's boy or girl. 
because it's so small. <laughs> so fucking small. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lady Taco. So what I wanted to tell, what I was, I brought out the baby because I wanted to show you the difference in the stages of caging. So a baby crested gecko quite literally lives in this. This is a $10 critter keeper with some vines, plastic plants, and paper towels on the bottom. And that's it. They cost about $12 a year to feed. And that's it. You can get a crested gecko for about $40. So, baby crested gecko, you get one little, they can live in this for quite some time. Um, the only downside to these that makes them not necessarily my favorite is they are so vented on top, they lose moisture really fast, so you gotta mist them all the time. Like, twice a day. But hella cheap. Now, if you wanna go hardcore, these ones, the cage itself is about $80, and then I actually put planted real plants in them and stuff, so the whole cage all together is probably about 200 bucks dirt plants cage these and this is adult crusty cages oh fussy dude geckos are super fun all right let me show you this itty bitty baby itty bitty baby it's so small we named him ember because he's red he's a red crested gecko this is like morph or whatever you want to say Taco, crested geckos, and you don't need heat lamps. You don't need uh, live feeders. They eat this. I'm not even kidding you. So this is just one brand. This is Rapashi. It's my favorite because it tends to have more nutrients, and my geckos really like it, but it's a powder. It's literally like powdered fruit and bugs, and you add water, and that's what they eat. That's it. All right, let's take out this little boob. Um, where is camera two? Oh, hello. Okay. And it is auto-focusing, right? I wanted to put it on my shirt so it's got like a background to focus on. Yeah. It's like feed mash. It's literally just, it looks like applesauce. Like you make it and it smells incredible. Like I'm tempted to taste it. It smells great. It's literally, because in the wild... On new, new, in New Caledonia, where they're from, it's a little tropical island. They eat rotten fruit and, like, some bugs every once in a while. But only one of all nine of my geckos likes bugs. One. The rest of them don't give a fuck. Yeah, <clears throat> I find my breeders on Morph Market. They tend to be small-scale breeders who actually care about the animals, not, like, massive, you know... I'm sure you've seen them, Taco. Those people that, like, do racks and racks and racks of just, like, thousands of animals. I'd rather someone who does it in their house and gives a fuck about the animal, you know? And this guy did. Hello, little ember. All right. Hi, babe. What's up? Come on. Oh, come on. That is a baby. You see how small that is? This is three months old, by the way. Three months old as of December. That's what they look like when they're itty bitty babies. Aren't they just the cutest? We named him Ember because she's just adorable. And I've had her since she was... Literally, he sent her to me before she was even two months old. So I've had her the whole time. So she's very, like, used to me and chill doesn't flee still likes to jump and stuff because it's a baby but like you can see the difference if you get one as a baby and you actually handle it versus just a breeder you know what i mean dude right odd assassin this is a baby press the go three months old about i don't know the exact day this little dude was born but it was uh i have it written down did you see a little jump you want to do another one you want to do another little jump do a little jump. Show him your little jumps. <gasps> say, say, what's up, honey bean? Oh, my God, Fussy, you should talk to Reese. Oh, my God, did you see the tiny jump? You should talk to Reese. Reese has um, vampire crabs. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Oh, little hop. I love it. This is kind of what you do, like... Every pet has a kind of personality, you know, and snakes, some snakes are interactive, some just sit in your lap. 
this is what you do when you hold a crested gecko. It's called walking them. What's a vampire crab? They're just these really pretty little tiny crabs that you can get. You can buy them online from breeders and have like an aquatic setup for them. But they're really fucking pretty. They look like jewels. They're like bright orange with uh, neon purple legs. Look up um, vampire crab, Halloween crab. That's what Reese has. They're fucking gorgeous, dude. Isn't that just the sweetest little thing? And you can see what they look like with a tail. Um, something that's really interesting about geckos, if you guys don't know, crested geckos. Well, it's interesting about crested geckos. So crested geckos, for one thing, they do not have eyelids, unlike a uh, leopard gecko. So they have to lick their eyes. And the other cool thing is, if you look at his tail, the tip of it actually has a foot pad, which is crazy. So not only are his little toes sticky, his tail is completely prehensile and has a foot on it. Literally, there's a toe on the end of his tail that sticks. So when they... Oh, he's going to jump. So when they lose their tail, it's kind of sad. They get a little awkward at first. Hi. You going to jump? You going to jump? Dude, are, right? Fussy. I did my nails like them one time because it inspired me so much. They're so cool. How often do you handle them? I don't handle them very often. They're not aggressive species or anything. It's just a matter of them knowing I'm safe. So I don't peel them off their homes. I don't like dig them out of their homes or anything like that. But more often than not, when I open their enclosures to feed them, they just come out. They're just kind of adventurous. And if they come out, I take them out with me and I spend time with them like this and just walk them like this. Um, as long as you're not around an animal that's going to jump into your lap and try to eat them. My dogs don't give a fuck about them at all. Thank God. Um, it's just so easy to just do this. And it's, I mean, it's a reptile, so it's not exactly like going to think of you as friend, but it will not think of you as fear. It will associate with food, moisture, and adventure. You know, they like to do this. Like, crested geckos, all night long, you can hear them banging around in their enclosure. They're hopping and running and... Isn't he cute? All right. He could, oh my God, can you see his little eyelashes? those eyelashes man i think this guy's gonna have a really pretty crown a crest but you can see no spots at all no markings like this is a red crested gecko i also have like harlequin oh my god i should grab a harlequin just to show you the color morph differences in these geckos it's pretty fucking wild come on little man is he pre oh see now he doesn't want to go back in i try to put him back in his enclosure and he's like nah i think i'll go for an adventure so that's his enclosure. That's what he lives in. That's him right there or her or whatever. But it's just vines, plastic plants, some moss. And you. I don't suggest substrate for any young reptile because they're more often than not going to accidentally eat it and they're going to get impacted and not be able to poop. So I do paper towels so I can literally see if he's pooping. I can see that he's eating and pooping, you know. But extremely cheap. I mean, this is... Other than tarantulas, this is the cheapest animal I've ever taken care of in my life. Like, the most... Other than the fact that I have to miss them once in the morning and once at night because I live in Denver and it's dry, it, it just is so easy. They can't see still water? I believe that. That's why people use, like, misting systems and stuff, right? A giant day gecko. Did you know that they'll actually slough their skin off as a um, defense mechanism to tell you to go away? I love day geckos, but they scare me because not only will they drop their tail, they'll say fuck it and just, like, start losing skin, and then they just die. It's the worst defense mechanism in the world. So this is all I do. I just put water on the leaves and shit. I always give them a food bowl, no matter or a water bowl, no matter what, but I find they don't usually use the water bowl. They just lick it off their face or off the walls. So that's Ember, my red um, crested gecko. Sil what is the Latin name? Cilia something... I don't remember. No, you never want to handle a day gecko. I would never. Oh, don't put your feet in the cage. Okay. I would never handle a day gecko. They're so fucking fragile. That's a look-sees only, but no touchies. I put nail picks. Oh, you did more nail picks? Shut up, Daniel. I'm so excited you're getting into painting your nails. I need to paint mine again. Good afternoon, psycho. 
Isn't he precious? I mean, they're just so cute and so easy to take care of. And I like them because they're a fun animal just to watch. Like, they kind of do their own thing and hop around. Like, you can see um, Sherbert's ass right there. He usually sits on top of this log or right under it. And he just sits there and, like, looks at me. And they're precious. Dude, Taco, if you want um, the names of the breeders that I got mine from, all really nice people and decent prices. The ones on Morph Market, all really nice people. I actually have two Lichianus geckos as well that are pretty pre fucking precious. They're about this big. They're really young. They're also known as the New Caledonian Giant Gecko. They're the biggest gecko in the world. Fun fact about geckos, did you know that they are called geckos because the very first one ever to be discovered made the sound gecko? Like, it went gecko. Geckos are Pokemon. It's crazy. They all chirp. Every single one of them has a noise. Taco, I have two lychees. It was my gift to myself for paying off all my credit cards. I got completely out of credit card debt, and so I bought myself geckos. I, how much does it take care of a tarantula? Dude, it's a bucket of dirt. It's stupid simple. Let me show you. Let me put this guy back, and I'll grab a tarantula enclosure. I'm not going to take... Well, if he comes out, I'll show you. Um, but I'll show you what your basic tarantula enclosure looks like. You can make them... You can make them as complicated as you want, but you don't have to. Lady Taco, I mean, I, both of my lychees are from different parents, so God willing, it's a boy and a girl that fall in love and I can make babies and you can have a, a fucking taco. A taco lizard. Um, It is zero dollars to take care of a tarantula. The most expensive part of getting a tarantula is the tarantula. That's it. <coughs> um, I actually need to run my first ad of the day, so let's take a quick break. And I am going to get a couple tarantula enclosures to show you the difference. Score babies are good. I'm actually, I've got everything out to transport them. And I told people at the beginning of stream fussy. I was like, if you see me just disappear, it's because I saw one real quick and I'm grabbing it. There's a ton in there. I just really don't want to destroy the home to get them out. Like, it feels wrong to destroy the enclosure to take all these out and just like fuck up the mom's life. That moment when your friends like your friends again. New friends forever! James decides to sleep on the hardwood. Is it the, is it, is it the thunder jacket? Is it the thunder jacket? You can see one of my tarantulas right there. That is Azula. She is a Mexican fire leg. She's gorgeous. Cheers. Shall we? Da? I've lost me lighter. Let me actually, I'm going to, I'm going to cheers when I get back because I do not want to blow smoke on my gecko. BRB. First break of 2021. Stand up. Let's start it right. Don't fuck with me. Actually stand up and stretch. Get a goddamn water. Don't sit through the ad. No one needs to do that. Stand up. We're going to do better this year because last year was a fuck story. She loves the jacket. Aww. What gallon is the Crested Tank? This little one? This little guy is... It's a... Let me see. Where's my other... I believe it's just a large critter keeper. If you look up Critter Keepers, I think this is five gallons. The most important thing is just having um, lots of space to put vines in so that, because they're arboreal. So it really doesn't matter what kind of enclosure. It'd be better if it was this way, honestly, because they like to go up and down. The adult one, these are 18 by 18 by 24 inches. Glass, front opening. I don't know the gallons because, you know, you usually go by, like, arboreal size. Yeah, 18 by 18 by 24 for an adult. An adult crusty, that's what they live in. And that's, like, the smallest acceptable for one adult crusty. If I want to breed them, I need to get a bigger tank to put them in together because that's just... They like, they like to run around, you know, hop around and do shit. Happy New Year's, hottie. How are you, love? Aw, oh, Blue Dabba D. Happy New Year's, honey bean. Oh, Lady Taco, easily. Yeah. You just want to make it so the, it's like a screen or some. Actually, I wouldn't use screen. Some geckos will get their fingers stuck. But yeah, a piece of plexiglass. Honestly, easy. They, I mean, I've had this guy for three months now. I honestly don't know how fast. He's grown pretty. He's gotten bigger. So he's not like tiny. He's definitely growing. I'd say he could live in this for about a year. Fuck stretching, I'm tired. All right, Kitty, you already did it. Let's all, except Kitty, 
stand up and stretch your fucking legs. I'm going to run the hourly ad. If you have been gifted a sub on my channel or you've something, I don't know, refresh the channel. But if you sub, you don't have to suffer the ad. Just hang out. I'll be back in a few. Get a cup of coffee. I'm going to get a couple tarantulas enclosures to show you how cheap you can make them or how fucking pricey you can make them. I'll be right back. All right, I grabbed, some, I grabbed a tea. Spider warning. If you are arachnophobic, he is out. I'm not going to take him out or anything, but he's out. You might see him. Let me put it on. Hold on. Where is it? Spider warning. All right. Thank you, Sales. Now we can cheers. Put my gecko away. I love them. Aren't they just the most precious? And... The coolest thing about crested geckos to me is you can get anything. You want a white one? They exist. You want a black one? They exist. You want one that's a harlequin that's like orange and red and white fire? Uh, they exist. You want a white one covered in polka dots? They exist. You want a plain color? They exist. Red? Sure. <coughs> it's crazy. There's so many different kinds. It's pretty wild. Absolutely. Taco, hold on one second. I'll just send you. I'll give you the link. I can pull up Morph Market right now. Morph Market's a really cool website, by the way, guys. If you guys haven't used it, like, people review, and it's just nice. I like it. Um, Let's see. So, this is one of the breeders. Let me see. Does he have babies? I'm going to send you one that actually has babies available. Because some of them, like, just do, you know, like, really fucking stupid, expensive ones. You know? Nope, not that one. This one. Fuck yeah. Dude, I'm so, first, first day of the year, and I am so, like, we're going to start it good. Like, we're going to do good. This is going to be a good year. I have, I have faith. Um, these guys, Paradise Cresties. These are my favorite so far. And they have 20 Crested Geckos available. All different prices. Um, let me see. Do they have any regular ones, though? Some of these guys, like, you know, they specialize in, like, really crazy ones. This person, the cheapest they have is $175 for babies because they're, like, you know. Uh, let me see. So this is Paradise. If you want to look, it'll at least still get you in. Oh, Jay, it's disgusting. Wait, are you talking about like these or like, oh my God, look at my kitchen. Do you see the stack of Amazon? It's so asinine how many fucking boxes they send me for one item. Oh, it's disgusting. Like I'm, oh my God, what did I get the other day? I got, where is it? I got a silicone mold that was this big and it came in a box this big. It was just full of air bubbles. I was like, are you, really? I just have stacks of boxes and boxes and boxes. Absolutely. Those ones are pretty expensive, though. Let me find um, where I got my normal guy from. These are just nice people. Like, honestly, I'm not even kidding you. These people, like, never stopped texting me about the geckos. They want to, they wanted, like, see them on Instagram and see them grow. They just, you know, I just love people that actually give a fuck. You know? Like, they give a fuck about their animals, and I appreciate that. Um, Let's see. Christians doesn't have any. How about you guys? Oh, man, they have 27. Is this paired? No, this is Mitch Attack. This is where I got one of my guys. This is the guy that sent me the free red, actually. He sent me the free baby. So they have babies for $65. That's pretty reasonable for a beautiful, I mean, literally it's a olive and cream crested gecko. Are you kidding me? But he also has one for 1500. So like they go everywhere, which is why I want to breed mine. Cause I think I, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this crack. Fuck. I'm not going to buy it. I swear to God. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not, I don't need any more geckos, but what the fuck? What a fucking gorgeous. That's the exact same kind of gecko. It's disgustingly wasteful. Like, I recycle. Like, I, re I will break all those boxes down, and I will shove them into one big box and recycle them. But it's just, it's overwhelming. Isn't that gorgeous? Dude, this guy is $150, man. I don't need another gecko, but that's a really fucking pretty gecko. 
Um, here is this shop. You can go look at it, Taco. Did I already give it to you? Yeah, they, I mean, just go to, if you go to Morph Market, literally, you can go to Morph Market, go to all the categories, and go to Crested Gecko. Browse latest. Boom. And you can just scroll and scroll. There's a little patternless red for 60 bucks. I mean, this is how I, I spend my free time. I just shop. I don't buy anything. Oh my God, $500, but Jesus fuck, that's a pretty gecko. Um, you can also get geckos a lot cheaper usually if you buy them without a tail. <laughs> if you buy frog butts, you usually get them pretty cheap. Dude, Lady Taco, that's how I am. Like, they're gonna live for like 15 years. They're gonna grow up to be even prettier than they ever were. I'd rather spend the money on a gecko. I'm kind of the same. I've never bought anything over like $200 for a gecko, but like, that's still a lot for a gecko. But I mean, I spent thousands for my puppies. I don't see the difference. That's a pretty one. Oh my God, I don't need another gecko. Look at the little frog butt. And so you can see like the morphs and shit. There's a million different morphs in the world for crested geckos, $3,000. And people will pay that. Like if you come out with some special gecko and you breed yours, they'll buy it. It's crazy, fucking wild. I would never, but what? Look at that, 60 bucks for a little frog butt. He's adorable. I'm not saying 60 bucks is a little money, but I mean, comparatively, like if you buy a boa constrictor, it's gonna cost you about $900. Snakes tend to be a lot more expensive. These guys, they're just cute. Look at them. Look at them. Pretty. Only $185, what? Oh, no. Okay, you go get them. You get them, Taco. I will live through you vicariously. I have enough geckos, <laughs> but I do love them. Stoned as fuck, dude, let's cheers. And then I'll show you guys who was asking. Someone was asking about how cheap, Slurm, good morning, how cheap tarantula enclosures were. Are you still here? Cause I got one out. I was gonna show you how easy they can be. <gasps> Hurts a lot, what up? Spider warning, so. Uh, so you can see these are my enclosures. Most of these over, these are all babies, but most of them are actually scorpions right now because one of my scorpions gave birth, long story short. So many of these are just tiny fucking scorpions. Let's just ignore those. But this right here is um your average tarantula enclosure. Uh, this is a tarantula cribs brand enclosure. They're the best. They're kind of pricey, but they're the best. You don't need to get these. You can use a fucking critter keeper just like I did for my crested gecko. But I really like these enclosures. You can see the tarantula. I just rehoused this guy, so he's kind of pissed. He's just like sitting in a corner being mad at me. Um, I, I rehoused him though, because this other enclosure wasn't great. <clears throat> Lots of folks may have already recommended this already, but a very colorful gecko or iguana face. <gasps> no one suggested that. That would be fun. Ooh. Good idea. Um, I was gonna say, ooh, yes, melancholic. I do plan to play games today. I was gonna try to talk Eliza into playing some uh, DRG with me if you'd like to join us. I just was, you know, very tired. I'm waking up. Oh, cute, Staghorn, I'm so jealous. Cute, do you even know me? I mean, I know. So my favorite part, what I was gonna say is these enclosures are my favorite because they have magnetic slide lids. So your tarantula ain't gonna get out, no way, but your, it depends on your tarantula. So this guy right here is a Formictopus aratus, otherwise known as a Cuban bronze tarantula, obviously from Cuba. And he is a juvenile. I believe this is my male. I got a male and a female as a pair. My community bought these for me actually because they're fucking angel bitches. You can see them bundled up right there in the corner. Pissed. But that's it. So depending on your tarantula, uh, for Mictopus erratus, this is a terrestrial tarantula, um, which means they don't need a tree, they don't climb, they live on the dirt, they make a burrow, and they live there their entire life. They don't move anywhere from that burrow. This will not be his final enclosure. He will get a bigger enclosure when he's bigger, but tarantulas, when they're small, tarantulas, the most, I don't know, I'd say the most complicated part about them is you do need to size up their enclosures. You don't wanna start with a 20 gallon and put a spider in it that big, it will die. You will lose it, it will die. 
tarantulas like a small compact area it feels safer to them and they're much less likely to be defensive or aggressive they're not aggressive they're defensive um so for a terrestrial tarantula you need substrate i use eco earth it's a nice mix of like cocoa fiber and shit and it holds water really well um maybe a piece of cork bark for them to web on and a water dish that's it I feed him once a week. Actually, I haven't fed him. He might eat. We could try to feed him. I haven't fed him since I rehoused him. How pricey are chameleons? Depends on the chameleon you want, man. But chameleons are probably the hardest reptile to keep alive. I would be cautious of them. They're, what's the term? The least forgiving, I would say, of the reptiles, of like their environment. So if their humidity is off, if the moisture is off, if their food is wrong, they will die. If they're like, that's it. Yep. Um, I was going to show you another one. So... This guy is about a year old, so that's how big he is. I was going to try to use a paintbrush and just kind of scooch him so he'll come out and look at you guys so you can actually see how big he is. He's pretty good size. You going to come out? Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Back, back, back. Ooh, are you hungry? Bitch, you hunger? There you go. So you can kind of see he's relatively good size. Um, but yeah, that is literally, that's a tarantula, that, that, that's it. Um, so when you get a tarantula though, they're extremely small. So if you buy a baby tarantula, it's going to come as what's called a sling. Slings live in something like this for quite some time. So you can see this is Weber. We named this one Weber because it is such a prolific Weber. It actually webbed to the top of the enclosure, so I'm not going to rip it off, but this is a, um, I know the Latin name. Give me a second. Fuck. I know it. Give me a minute. Um, it's a violet tree spider, essentially. They're from India, but they're insane webbers. So you can see all that crazy ass, maybe you can see it on this one better, all that webbing in there. But he'll live in this for like two, three years because they don't grow fast. And they're very happy. This is it. Two, three years he'll live in this until I move him. It's pretty amazing how cheap tarant... That's why, like, if you meet someone with tarantulas, chances are they have 20 or more. Because you're not adding any more work on the more tarantulas you own. It's nothing. Usually, the, re the reason I have so many tarantulas is because I want something to do every day. And tarantulas don't need care every day. So by having, like, 40 tarantulas, every day I have something to do. The super huge ones are pretty old. It depends on the species. So this species is pretty long-lived. He'll live, if, a, if he's a boy, he'll live five to six years. If he's a girl, he'll live about 20 years. They can live really fucking long. They grow real slow. Most tarantulas grow really slow. Most. I do have some, like, uh, my bird eater, I think he's hidden right now. I have a Cerakopelma bouquet bird-eating spider, and he's he's young. I've only had him for two months, and he's tripled in size. Some of them grow really fast, and some don't. Vitruvian seagull, happy new year. Um, I was going to grab a cockroach and see if we can maybe get a cool feed on this guy. But he might be pissed from the rehouse. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try. These are my roaches. So like I said, it's pretty easy to take care of tarantulas. The most annoying part is live feeders. You're going to have to go to the store all the time unless you have your own colony. So I'll, all I did was a bucket of dirt and some rotten fruits and vegetables, and I threw some roaches in it, and they just breed on their own. Yep, these are the Cordomas. We will be, well, if he takes it. We'll see. Maybe. If we're lucky, he'll take it. He's kind of, oh. I mean, he's moving. Yeah, I think he's pissed off, though, because I rehoused him yesterday. Um, where are my pincers? Where are my pincers? Where are all my pincers? Oh, there they are. Oh, dude, Delphinus! <laughs> Happy New Year! I haven't even seen it yet. Um, Let's do you. 
Come here. It's your turn to die. Roach. Oh, it went right in the water. God damn it. Get off my pincers. Get it, bro. Get it. Get it. Really? He's like, nah. This is tarantulas. Remember how I told you they're pussies? This is what they do. That's it. That's all they do. They just are fearful of everything and kind of bastards. Um, let me see. Let's do... Oh, that's a big one. Um, I wish I had some worms, man. They really like worms. Oh, a worm! How about this? No? See that? Do you see that? That is don't touch me behavior, so that means he's not hungry. Do you see that? The legs up? That is called a, uh... Your little roach fuck. You're not gonna live in there. Um, that's a defensive pose, and that means don't touch me. Threat pose, thank you, threat pose. Yeah, that means don't touch me, I'm angry. He's probably gonna shed, honestly, but he just looks kind of thin. I don't know, boys are weird. Boy tarantulas suck. They're not my favorite. Um, I mean, I'd love to breed him and have little babies and sell them, because that'd be really good money, but. There you go, for Mictopus erratus. They, uh, that, that's a tarantula, that's all they do. The big ones. The little ones are skittery. Big ones, they just sit there. Oh my god, Lady Taco. I know. You're welcome. Now your whole life's gonna be absorbed by Morph Market. I'm so sorry. You're just me still. Are you gonna go somewhere? He's like, nah, I'm good. So there you go. Um, So little things about tarantulas. Terrestrial tarantulas, like this, tend to be... New world terrestrial tarantulas tend to be kind of like this. Just kind of like lazy lumps. Uh, whereas old world, I have some old worlds. So I was going to pull one out, which are lightning fast. They're all hidden because it's night, it's daytime, but you can essentially see the differences, like the sizes, like that. This is your baby spider for years. They won't grow out of this for a long time. If you get a sling. And slings are exceptionally cheaper. So, like, this guy, I think, cost me 40 bucks. But my adult over there, so if you see her, that big one right there, that's the Mexican fire leg, that was $300. Because it was a confirmed female. And everyone wants a female because females live forever and males die in five years. And they die no matter what. They either fuck, fuck and die, or just die. And it's real sad. So... Everybody prays for a female, so if you buy a female, you're going to pay a lot more, but if you buy a sling, you still get to enjoy it. Like, what a cool animal. And it, she's really big. I wish she would come out, because she's actually pretty good size. But I love the webbing. We named her Weber because of that. Oh, Nozba, I'm living my fantasy. This is my, this was my childhood dream. Seriously, my entire life, I have said, I will have rooms of animals, and I will be so happy, and now I'm, I get to do it, and it's like... I'm living in a fantasy. Seriously, it's really weird. Like, sometimes I'm like, wake up, Katie, you're not this happy. I just love animals. Thank you. Most of these are scorpions. This enclosure that's open is full of babies that I've been slowly scooping out. But I haven't seen any today. Come on. Little nocturnal fuckholes. Thank you. I just love animals. Like, this has been... Ever since I was a kid, I had animals when I was a kid, but so many horrible, tragic things happened with my animals, like my brothers killing them and them dying because my parents didn't know how to take care of them and didn't teach me how to take care of them and shit, that, like, my whole life I was like, I am going to have so many animals that will live for me with me forever! Oh, Katie, idea. A secondary spider scene where the close-up camera... 
of the spider camera becomes the big main camera and you get small. Ooh, will you write that to me in a DM? That's a good idea. Yeah, these are all empty. These are ones I've prepared to scoop them out. And this is the enclosure full of babies. So I'm just sitting here waiting. And every once in a while, one will run out and I scoop it out and put it in a different enclosure. Because otherwise, mom will kill them. Oh, Katie, I almost forgot your Jeep dream. What about it? Dude, my jumpers never threaten me. Never. They're so nice. Learn to twerk. I don't think I can. I've tried. I, I don't know how you release your butt muscles and let your ass just crawl up and down your back. I don't know how to do it. I've tried. My ass is like, for as big as it is, it's pretty solid. It's not like hella jiggly. I don't know. I've tried. It's all in the ankles. I'm saying learn. Thanks. Thanks. I'm trying. Maybe, would twerking get me my Jeep, maybe? You have ladies. They're less showy. Yeah, that's true. My one lady is still, like, completely webbed in. She made, like, this solid, white, solid, opaque little nest and has not come out of it for, like, a week now. And I don't know if she's molting or what, but she's been in there for quite some time. I have no idea. Rather than, oh, see, I was trying to, like, move my back. Oh, cheating. Hmm. Is it Coco? What's Coco? I have a spider named Coco. She's actually the, uh... Um, Bracky Pelma Classy, my namesake. I don't have a... I might. I have peach fuzz. Shut up. It's all about the ankles. No shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial and try to learn how to twerk. That's so stupid. Cheers, everybody. Remember when Miley Cyrus tried to twerk on a stage? Oh, Ike, that's adorable. <coughs> oh, my formictopus is crawling around. He's so mad at me. I'm sorry. You needed a new home. His old home was shitty. I hated it. Happy New Year, Rod. Cheers and Happy New Year, Cinnabon. How are you, love? Happy 2021. 20 it's here. That was a big hit. I just got very warm. Whoa. <coughs> um. You see him. He's just crawling. We're going to figure out his new enclosure. I love tarantulas. I don't know why. But I really like them. They're just really fucking cool to watch. They're so interesting. Like, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Nobody knows. It's the ankles rocking back and forth? Man, I had no idea. I guess I've never, like, wanted to twerk enough to, like, look it up. I mean, I have enough ass. I just, I always, I never understood how they, like, release their butt so it could, like, bounce up and down their back like that. Like, I don't have that much ass fat. I'm mostly hips, honestly. I'm a lot of hips. My butt's only big because of my hips. Zeke thinks I'd have a small butt if I didn't have hips because my butt attaches really low, really high on my leg. You know how some people have, like, a really long butt? I have, like, a short butt. If that makes sense. Like, my butt crease is high. I don't know. I think it's just my hips. I'm a hippie! Okay. <laughs> I'm a I'm a literal hipster. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. I feel like I need to burp. Hula hooping, belly dancing. 
I can't hula hoop either. Okay, I can't do it. I have no, I can't do it. I'm white. Ooh, legal weed delayed because the state can't decide what to do legally with minors who have consumed weed. I have no words for that. I'm just saying, like, I don't have any rhythm in my hips. Like, yeah, you should join my Discord. Someday, I'm hoping you'll actually want to be my real friend. If you watched all the Mandalorian, there's a video game, a video montage of the show with Old Town Road song to the video. I think I, did we finish Mandalorian? Yeah, we did. Is Twitch being twitchy? People were saying earlier it wasn't loading again either. I don't I don't see like I can't even see viewer numbers or anything like right now, so Twitch might be being kind of twitchy, my dudes, and I apologize for that. Happy New Year. And stuff. You want to see a gecko, Yawn? Oh, you're a cute boy. And I love their eyes. Their eyes are so cool looking. Lady Taco, literally when I click your name, it says unable to fetch account. So Twitch is being fucked right now. To witness a gecko yawn. Did you see that? And I love their eyes. Their eyes are so cool looking. We just got to witness a gecko yawn. Oh, you're a cute boy. Air Taco, now try. I love their eyes. Their eyes are so cool looking. Taco, I'm not even kidding you. It says the user I'm trying to unban doesn't exist. What the fuck? It says you don't exist. Can you talk? It says I'm unable to unban you. I tried to ban and unban you, seeing that would fix it because of shadow ban, and now I can't unban you. <gasps> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I can't unban Lady Taco. Are you fucking me right now? Taco! Chat's broken. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? Oh, you can see my chipped tooth. I chipped that tooth in Germany by chattering my teeth because I was cold. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is Twitch. I figured that because I just looked at my viewer numbers and it said zero and then it said 100 and then it says zero again. So sick. You know what we do when Twitch doesn't work? We just run an ad. Just kidding, it won't let me run an ad. What the fuck? Twitch is truly bo broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Twitch is broken. Well, do I keep streaming? Do I say fuck it? Uh-oh. I'm just reloading the page. What could we do in shell show and tell in this chaotic time? Um, I could take a snake out. I have zero viewers and zero views. Oh my God, my channel has zero views, so that's good. Oh my God, let's look at Slate's pictures. That's a good idea. I literally have them up right here. Let's look at Slate. We'll do a little, mo little weed montage while this is fucking up, yeah. Just watch, for anybody that can't participate in chat, I know. We all know. Let's just look at these beautiful pictures. Slaith works in a grow house. So, 
Slate every once in a while blesses us with these gorgeous, I mean, gorgeous fucking pictures. So we'll do a little slideshow while we wait, shall we? Cheers. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Black lemon. I love that you put the strains. So that's black lemon haze. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Slave. <sighs> Good old Cindy White, man. Oh my God. This is probably one of my favorite strains ever. And it's really hard to find up here. It's every once in a while I'll find it at either Green Solution or at Medicine Man. Oh, God. Harpy Nude Year, Sex Monkey. I hope you took your titties out today. And then we've got oh, Cindy White. Look at those colors, dude. Nature's beautiful. <coughs> Nature's fucking beautiful. And this one is Critical Kush. Oh, my God. Slate, do you ever, like, have a craving just to put your mouth on it and suck on it? It looks like rock candy, and I just want to, like, eat it. Oh, Critical. Dude, these pictures are fucking phenomenal. But you know what I mean? Like, you ever just want to, like... Aww. Sometimes I want to. They're so pretty looking. Oh, my God. Dog Walker and Black Dog number five. Look at that. <coughs> I love this. Knives, I would argue that and say if anyone needs all those names on their name, Eliza does because everybody knows her as something different. Either Cookie, E-Cook, E-Cuck, Cucky, Eliza. She has too many. It's so confusing when I say, I'm playing with Eliza, and people go, who's that? I really appreciate her having all the names. Other people might be pretentious, but Eliza needs them. This is fucking gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Dude. This one's Happy Accident. Aw, oh, dude, I love the name. I love the goofy-ass names they come up with for strains. They're so perfect. Oh. I'm popping a boner for these popped. Look at the buds! Oh, my God. And it's, it's illegal. I mean, what's wild to me is it's a goddamn plant and it's illegal. Like, in its purest form, it is illegal. Not like cocaine, where they turn it into something horribly offensive for your nose. We literally dry it out, smoke it, and it's a plant. It's just a plant. It's kind of wild when you think about it. Barilla, what up, dude? Good morning. Great quality, yeah. Happy accident. My God, that's so fucking pretty. It's so fucking pretty. I can't. Oh, my God. Oh. I want to paint these real bad. Like, I want to do artfully painting, artful paintings of your shots. Oh, my God. Pebble pie. What in the fuck? Is this Fruity Pebbles in it? Because I've had the strain Fruity Pebbles, and it's fucking dank. That's one of my favorites. It's very rarely at my dispensary, but it's absolutely one of my favorites. Fucking gorgeous plants. Oh, look at the little, look at the magic happening. Do you see it? Do you see it? She's want, she wants to be fucked. She's like, fuck me. Fuck me, daddy. Cookie Pebbles and Pie 95. Oh, it's beautiful. Dude, camera phones are fucking psychotic. It's insane. Like, I bought myself a nice camera, literally just to take macro shots of my animals. But beyond that, phones can do pretty much everything these days. Seeing if I got any little scorpions coming out. 
I know Big Green. Oh, I've read all about the history. It was actually uh, made illegal because they used it to criminalize black people and Mexicans. It was all over race. Fuck racists, by the way. Can we all agree on that? Wedding cake. Oh. Seems to be back? Yes. People call me many different things on here, too. Some people call me sex monkey, and they don't even know why, which is my favorite. Are you kidding? Like, do you say call me sex monkey, and they don't put it? That's amazing. That's my favorite. Yep, I love that. Me, too. Wedding cake's great. That is so be Oh. Look at it. It's perfection. It is plant perfection. I Slay, thank you so much for sharing these with us. They just see other people call me that and go with the flow. That's fucking great. I don't think I've had wedding crasher. Wedding cookies is a lot of what we get. Wedding cookies for some reason. Those are fucking gorgeous. Thank you for sharing. I didn't want to scroll down because Imgur is terrifying. Oh, actually, I did want to log into Imgur. What was I looking for? Didn't I say I thought I had a picture on Imgur? They, I, it's just, isn't it crazy to you, though? Like, you work with this plant, and, I mean, like, it's, it's just a plant. It's just a plant. And you can go to prison for many years. Oh, <gasps> the blood. No, it's not all over a wall. It's just, like, a cup, it's, like, jars of it. Let me see if I can find it. Thank you. It's not, like, a mess. It doesn't look like a mess. You wouldn't even know what it is unless I told you what it is. Let me see if I've got it in here. I was going to look at Imgur and see if I had it. It was from, not from Hopkins. It was from my old hospital in Seattle. Let's see. I know I have it. I have to. I saved it. I sent it to people. I know my mom would still have it probably. Um, Let me do that. And then let me do sign in. Let's do this. Welcome back, Taco. Did you get law? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Mm. No! I didn't want to do that. No. Um, would it be this one? No. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. no. I don't know. I'll have to find it. I know it's got to be on. I posted it places. Did I put it on Twitter or Facebook? I mean, I think I put it on Facebook. Long story short, guys, I have this amazing picture that I took way back in the day of a lot of blood. Also, what's happening in Twitch? Yeah. What's your 2020 resolution? Chat's back. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the weed pictures while you couldn't talk. I apologize. It sucks. I, Slate was, it was a great suggestion just to look at pictures while people can't talk because what else are you going to do, you know? Honestly. Um, where the fuck? There it is. No. Yes. I'm going to poop my pants if it's in here. Maybe. A little poop. Just a little poop. Not a lot of poop. Just a little poop. Poop, poop. I'm going to explore my own self more. Oh my god, what are you going to do? Like how? Like fingers up your butt, explore yourself more? Or like... I'm excited for you. Oh, fucking camera's off. Sorry. Cuteness, happy new year, Sunny Bean. I'm just trying to find a picture while, while Twitch is being a douche. Figured I'd show you guys a cool picture. No, you're not going to stick. Some okay. What do you mean then? I mean, I'm excited for you. I've done that, hence all the animals. I haven't necessarily explored myself. I've just accepted who I am and I'm not fighting it anymore. I'm not telling myself there's something wrong with me because I like animals and that's my hobby. Some people knit. I like pets. As long as it's not at an unhealthy level where I can't take care of them anymore, obviously. But 
That's called hoarding, and that's unhealthy. Don't do that. Um, so, I could tell a story. I wonder, can people hear me? Is chat working so you can hear me, or does the video not even play? Video probably doesn't even play, huh? Um, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Deedly deedly, there they are, standing in a row. Bum, bum, bum. Big ones, small ones, some fucking a dick. Where is the pick? All right, so this is when I was in clinicals, so they wouldn't be here. Maybe I didn't put it on Facebook. Man, where would I have put it? I'm so pissed. It's got to be somewhere because pictures never go away. And I sent it to a couple friends and, like, my mom. And I know I posted it somewhere. I just don't know where. Shit fuck. On a dick. You see me? Oh, hell yes. Well, generic white guy hasn't told me how he's exploring himself yet, so... You know, I'm waiting for the exploration. Hmm, and the blood. The blood. There's a picture of my dad's butt crack, so that exists on my Facebook. I hate Facebook. It's literally a picture dump. Actually, you want to know an interesting thing? I was looking on my phone this morning to find pictures of Thailand and realized I never posted one picture from Thailand anywhere. I posted some on Insta or on um, Twitter this morning. But I have a five bajillion pictures from Thailand of me, like, petting, like, elephants and shit. And I never showed anybody. They're just on my phone, which is interesting. Fuck. I'm going to find it. I'm set on it now because I know it exists. It has to. Nothing goes away forever. The Internet's eternal. Half come through? I mean, that's something. Okay, let me think. What could I... Can you guys... Can people, like, hear me and shit? No one's talking, so I don't think so. So I'm just going to keep talking to myself and pretend I have an audience. This is, like, when I first started streaming. So... uh, I don't know what to talk about, though. Fuck, I hate being on the spot. What am I looking for on my phone? Picture. Um... Yeah, I just don't know. Sucks when you're put on the spot to talk about yourself. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, deedly deedly. That no, there they are standing in a row, bum bum. Big ones, small ones, shoving them in your dick, and that's what the prick did. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, deedly deedly. There they are standing on a row, bum 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 bum. Fuck, where would that picture be? I'm just here, just bummed, feeling down for some reason. How can I make you happy? Can I make you smile somehow? God, I hate being... It's like I can come up with stories all the time until I'm put on the spot, and then I'm like, fuck. Think of a funny story. One time, Vissy, when my sister was a little kid, uh, we... So, I wasn't, like, a huge bully of a sister, but I definitely did... I was an older sister. And we used to play games, and my cousin Josh lived with us. We called my sister, basically. And um, when we were kids one time, have you ever seen the movie The Little Princess? If anyone here has seen the movie The Little Princess, it's about a little girl that goes to an orphanage because her dad dies, blah, blah, blah. And the orphanage ruler lady, whatever, is named Miss Minchin. And we used to play orphanage, and I would make my sister crawl into our closet, crawl up into the linens, and hide in the towels, hide in the folded towels laying down, and I wouldn't let her leave, and I would close the closet door, and I would literally abandon her for hours. And every time she made a noise, I'd be like, Miss Mention will come in there and beat your ass, but in little kid speak, and she'd get scared. And then one time, she was tired of that game, so we decided, Joshua and I decided to convince Sarah she was sick, we just can we were just like no you're definitely sick you have a fever you look really terrible she was like 3 years old and we convinced her that she wouldn't get better unless she took her pants off she could not have pants on so my sister was like running around the house crying with no pants on Josh and I were the only people home that's that's all she wrote that's it was 
oh, actually, my sister ended up sneaking into a room, like sneaking some Cheez-Its because we wouldn't let her eat. We convinced her she was sick so she couldn't eat and uh, like stole some Cheez-Its and then called my mom at work. And my Aunt Elaine came over and helped Sarah put pants back on and told us never to do that again. Oh, God, Cinnabon. It's so real, though. I'm a middle sister. Like, I'm technically second youngest, but two of my cousins were raised with me like sisters, so I'm third youngest. Dead in the middle, man. And I just used what I could to do what I could, you know? It was bad. It was was, was mean. It was... I mean, that was just one of them. Wow, Katie, you're an asshole. Look at who I was raised by, Knives. Are you kidding me? I definitely had a lot of... What's the word? Like pent up aggression I needed to get out. And Sarah was the only little one other than Joshua. So she got it all. I'm looking, I'm literally looking at my old computer and I'm looking, or I'm looking through my old hard drive at old fucking pictures (laughs) to see if I can find it. Like these are pictures from like when I first started streaming, but it's gotta be in here. I know it is fucking know it because there's things don't disappear you know they don't fucking disappear they're there forever it's just a matter of hunting them down on your computer when you don't organize your pictures ever so they're in a million different places it's fine oh fuck me that's not what i wanted nope um documents jesus christ this is just my sister is five years younger too, Cinnabon. Literally four years and nine months. Test. Glenn, are you back? Oh my God. Pain. No blood on the carpet. Oh man. My dad would fight with us. My dad would, we'd wrestle. We called it wrestling. My dad and I had three older brothers. We all just like wrestled. We were very tough kids. Like to this day, I'm still pretty like rough, you know, like some people might think I'm a little too rough, like overly rough when I hang out, but I'm just like intense i guess if that makes sense from old pc documents desktop what would be on my desktop oh my god what the oh my god there's some weird shit on my old computer that's all i'm saying oh this see if this doesn't make you laugh i don't know what will This was me at the beginning. This is what I grew from. Right there. Right, that's what I, that's. How I'm still here today, nobody will know. But I am. Survived. Somehow. Your hair matches, dude. I sometimes I really miss my long hair just because of how oh it was very um beautiful, but the high maintenance, like I don't know if you've ever grown your hair out really long, Vissy, but high maintenance of long hair is just horrible. Like it feels like you're kind of just dragging around a dead animal on your head. Because it's just literally dead hair, like piles of it on your head, and it's heavy and it gets knotted. Like the base of my neck is always in knots when my hair is long. How I wish I could have been that Mike. My God. I was just like, those were the wild, wild west, man. Those were the days where you just didn't give a fuck about anything. I didn't give a fuck about anything. I didn't even know there were rules or mods or anything. And everybody just did whatever the fuck they wanted. Now they actually try to enforce things. I think. I think they're trying or something. Oh, my God. This was my very first beer. I back screen. Stop it. I duct taped my brother to the clothes bar in the closet and then left him for three hours. He passed out and I had to cut him down and wake him up. Oh, dude, we duct taped Sarah to a uh, door once and left her on it. But I think she got off. Now you can get in trouble for not modding your chat. Yeah. My burps taste like flesh and death. (laughs) My old Instagram, Katie Buns. My Steam, Katie Kong. Dude. Memory lane, let me tell you. Um, but I thought maybe it might be in this folder because these are this is around the time that the blood happening, the happening of the bloodening. The bloodening was around this time of my life. Somewhere, 
man, where the fuck would it be? It's so irritating. <laughs> it's almost like I deleted it or something. Oh my god, no, please don't do that. That was hated it. What up, Gov? How are you? A plus business card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so extra shit. From old PC, I went through documents. I went through my documents, right? It's views, Twitch alerts, Switcher. Nothing that says mm, pictures. Resume. Oh, my God. Remember when I used to have to make a resume? <laughs> now I am my resume. You can't lie if you're live 24-7, right? I'm not scared. You are. Um, I thought I had like a file called Steam Cum and it had a bunch of shit in it. I gotta find that one. Extra shit. Steam Cum! Um, oh, it's just picture. Oh, fuck Christ. Whoa, what the fuck is this? A lot of videos. Oh, what? What are these? Record with my voice or no voice? Oh my god, it's clips of me. I'm going to delete all of those because it's probably taking up a shit ton of room on my computer. Where should I save them? Is Twitch being stupid still? It's cool. I'm just chilling, trying to find something funny for you guys to look at. So, figure no one can hear me. No one can see me. There's no point to do anything. <sighs> Might as well just fucking sit here and do nothing. Hmm. Is it? Oh, thank you, Liza. Yeah, I figured. Well, it happened the other day when we were doing the um. Uh, what was it called? The um Nocturne one shot. It happened the other day. Uh, the whole beginning of the episode was like a fuck story. It was really weird. So it doesn't surprise me if it's happening again. To be honest. I have views downloads, but there's nothing in it. Thank God. You see me and hear you, but chat's not loading. Man, for a streamer who completely depends on talking to chat, really stresses me out. The chat's not up. Like, a lot. <laughs> oh, no thank you. Um... Videos from old hard drive. I don't want that. I already looked through Steam Cum, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, I have a file named Steam Cum. Come at me. Pictures from iMac. See, this is where I thought it would be because here's my mom's breast cancer. And it happened around that time, but it's not in this folder. Mm, where the fuck is it? Oh! <gasps> Go sleep, Lady Taco. Man, I would not blame one of you if you want to leave. Like, if Twitch is being this fucking lame, like, I'm not going to do anything cool because what the fuck is the point if no one can watch? I'm just going to sit here until... Wait, like, yeah. I, I do not blame you guys if you don't want to sit here and watch this shit. Don't even worry about it. Go sleep or something. Do something productive that doesn't involve me, maybe, because this is just... Mm. <sighs> Exhausting. I don't want to let Twitch win. I know. I mean, I'm not going to go not live because I'm not going to let Twitch win. I'm going to stay live. But if you guys can't see me, like. I see you, fussy. Found some more pictures that were hidden in the deep depths of my computer. Oh, my God. I found thanks for the 4,000 followers. That's funny. Um, hmm. Weird. It's not even a good picture. It's just a picture. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I 
I saw something called the guts, and I was like, oh my god, is that the gut? No, it was a computer. It was the inside of my computer. I just closed it. Why am I like this? I don't know why I'm like this. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I really don't know where it would be. Are you free? Is it happening? Twitch, please eat my ass. Oh my god, I see it. Aw oh, shit. Anime 5 is back in the chat again. Sigh. I'll go get the spray. Oh, honey. Just don't put too much vinegar in it this time. Last time your eyes were so burny. Are we back? Oh my god, Musaika, what up? I think we're back, guys. I think we're back. Hello? Oh my god. Bubble Beaver, I see you. <gasps> Hippie, I see you. Oh my god, I see you. Mostly back. I see some of you. That's better than nothing, man. I'm excited. It's better than nothing. It means it's sort of... I just don't know what's happening. Like, what happened to Twitch? Is this like an attack? Are we being attacked? Do people realize this is how I make my living? Can we not attack Twitch right now, please? Please. 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 Oh, Twitch status. Thank you, Eliza. We're investigating an issue causing Twitch to fail to load. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Fail to load. And told no one. I mean, easy. When When's the last time they communicated anything to me about anything? Never. I don't think it's ever happened. Hmm. Um, let's do local disk, extra shit, blood. There's a, high, a, a video on my computer called Blood and Sauce. I mean, the only thing they could do is email you, and would you really see the email during the stream for it to matter? Oh, I just mean, like, in general, like, changing things. Not errors. That is fucking idiotic. No, I would never check my email. But I mean, like, when they make a big change to the dashboard or something. Or, like, they're doing something in the background that might fuck up Twitch that's going to be a big change. Yeah. I meant, like, you know, that shit. That shit. Mmm... Hmm. I have so many things on my computer called Bloodhound. It's kind of funny. Hound. What the fuck is blood and sauce? I have to open this. Oh, it's an episode of Hank Hill. Just kidding. Ignore that. I don't know why it's called blood and sauce, but sure. I'm uncomfortable. Yes, Jerry. Oh, okay. So my resolution is to explore my sexuality and overpresentation of myself. Like I want to try to present myself as more androgynous or even more feminine. Like I want to get into makeup and stuff. Oh my God. Yes. If you want help, I love makeup, obviously. Yes. That That's exactly what happened to me, Sex Monkey. The other day when Nocturne started, it looked like I had no, no, I wasn't following anybody, basically. Makeup is, you just gotta, like, step out of the constraints of what you think makeup should be and be creative. Don't watch tutorials and shit. Just, like, use your fingers. I use my fingers, man. I don't even use brushes. Like, I get all up in that shit. Because I, it's, it's fun, you know? It's fun. Oh, my God. Say Shelly's what up? Your joy today. I did take my joy today. Never he forget smiles. to take Thank your you. joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Oh, excellent. I honestly feel I mean my sister's kind of like that. So she's not a ginger, but she has the skin of a ginger. Like, there is no foundation that matches her skin. It'd be paper white. 
Happy New Year, Koto. I hope this year turns out exponentially better for you. Yeah, I feel bad. My skin tone, I feel lucky because the number one people complain about with like face makeup is the yellowing and I'm yellow. So I fit all of them, it's great. Sexcellent, I, you know, I have a mole. Where is it? Right here. It's like a beauty mark kind of mole. And my mom always tried to get me to put a dot on it when I was a kid because she had a mole and she wanted it to show up more. I think it shows up just fine. You can see that mole. It's right there. But like, no. Wait, Kate, did you see the top reply for the Twitch? Oh, my God, no. Could you could probably just set up a recurring scheduled tweet for this, guys. Would stop admin having to type it out each day. <laughs> Isn't that weird, Cinnabon? Like, what the fuck is that? What? If I may agree with Katie, your hands make great makeup brushes as you can always clean them and actual brushes get nasty dirty. Yes, they do. And I think there's something with, like, the warming of your fingers on your skin. It makes makeup blend better. It wasn't noticeable at all. Well, I mean, it's really small. It's not noticeable because I don't put a brown mark on it. It's just a little mole. It's like this little, like, you know... That beauty mark, stupid mole. She actually draws one in on her face. My mom actually had to have get hers removed. My mom had a mole on her chin right here, but when she was like in her 40s, I think they removed it because they thought it might be cancerous. So they removed that one, but mine's just chilling. Dead Kel, I think, I mean, dude, I'm not even kidding you. I remember when I was like 20, 21, makeup YouTube started to burst out of nowhere and I would watch these girls and they would wake up whip out a fucking paintbrush and pour a cup of foundation and just start painting it on like spackle and I was like what the fuck well mine's raised it's a mole sorry mine's a raised Hail mole Satan! Hail Hail Satan! Satan! yes melancholic have a good one honeybean I'm just trying to I'm so tired I didn't sleep very much last night I'm pretty drained so I'm just trying to kind of like Get an oomph, you know? It kind of hid my acne. My sister has beautiful freckles. My sister has that skin that doesn't tan. It just freckles. Applies makeup with a shotgun. Oh, God, no. Oh, don't do that. Oh, you raised it? I did. I wasn't born with it, actually. It's a. Uh, it's recent in my life. Burns, tans, then freckles. I burn. Well, see, I'm Irish too, excellent. Get this. My sister and I are a shit ton of um, Irish, but I am. Which one am I more of? Like, we have the same genealogy, but I'm more percentage of something, which I just tan. Like, I'm brown. I get really tan in the summertime. I never burn. I don't know why, though. Shade of white with freckles. I'm jealous. I look like I have jaundiced skin. I used to be a cosmetologist. Yes, using your clean fingers is great with makeup. Your fingers are warm, so it helps blend, and you're also more gentle than with brushes. Dude, the skin tugging. I used to watch those girls, like, pull an eyeliner and shit back in the day, and I was like, bitch, you gonna be wrinkly. Oh, no, you would never do it on somebody else, but for your own makeup, I mean, and Zeke. I, I just prefer, I honestly, like, I paint with my hands a lot when I do real, like, acrylics and stuff. I think your hands are the best tools, and people are really, like, don't use your hands anymore. People think you need, like, all these expensive tools to do things. For makeup, I literally use paint brushes because they're cheaper than makeup brushes. I buy, like, these floofy watercolor brushes that are really soft, and they work phenomenally. Um, it's all what you make it, really. See, Sex Monkey, I did my Ancestry.com, and I have no ancestry thus far on my Ancestry.com that would explain the fact that I have black hair and tan skin because none of my family does. My dad did, and he's dead. So I'm like, there's got to be black-haired, tan-skinned people in Ireland, I guess. That's just, oh, God, Cinnabon, it's just terrible. It's so, like, the things that they sell, I mean, it's just phenomenal. I look at it all the time. It's crazy. I use brushes in my hands when I paint with watercolors. Me too. I use my hands for everything. I use it on my iPad. I love that I can use my hands. Knives, what did I say? I forgot. Black hair. Tan skin. 
Would those be the Black Irish? Are the Black Irish real? I've heard that term a lot in my life. But I don't know if that's an actual thing or if that's just what they called people that were darker than normal. I don't know. I'm Irish, Welsh, and Scottish, mostly. And then Russian and Swedish. What was the name of the software for? Oh, um, Procreate? On my iPad? Procreate. It's real, but it refers to both Irish, the black hair, and the black people who were Irish. Well, I'm definitely not black. I'm not that tan. Good God. I wish. That would have been cool. Would have explained this ass, maybe. But no. I'm white. White Irish with black hair. I mean, it's possible. I think the Irish Isle, the Isle of Ireland was ransacked a lot by, like, Vikings and stuff. So they probably had a lot of different blendings of shades of human i was born blonde and blue-eyed my white side is still very brunette brown whoa that's me and my sister are the same sex monkey get this both my parents have brown eyes and my sister and i were born with blue eyes knives what i said i wasn't black the fuck bro see my parents always called me black irish but i always assumed it was like a black like a, what do you say, the, the the black sheep. I thought it was like black sheep because I just look so different from the rest of my family. My mom's whole side is like blonde and redheaded and curly hair and they're really pretty and they have freckles and I'm this. Oh, it's excellent. We, I want to go to Ireland so bad. So bad. Of all the places in the world, I still haven't been there. I was actually born with like red hair, but it turned black pretty fast. The redhead stepchild, but opposite. Seriously. No shit. Pale skin, black hair, not really uncommon here. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Goosey. I'm dumb and American, and in America, we assume everyone in Ireland is pale with freckles and red hair because, you know, we're dumb. But I have, I mean, I'm very Irish. My Nana was off the boat, or her mom was off the boat from Ireland. They were from Galway. So I know I've got a shit ton of Irish heritage. Be safe, LZT. Happy New Year, a newbie. How are you? Blue eye and ginger with curls, but now just dirty blonde. My sister was born with jet black hair. I told my parents on home video they got the wrong baby. <laughs> Stereotypes. Sometimes I wish I fit one, though, you know? Like, I look racially... Racially is the wrong word. Uh, culturally ambiguous. I look like nothing. And sometimes I wish I, like, had a big nose or, like, big eyes or something that was, like, you know... I'm just pretty white. Just arguably the worst thing to be these days. A whole lot of white people giving us a real bad name out there. Fuck racism, by the way, and racists. When we did recessive genes in school, I had a complex because we couldn't find my red hair, freckles, and green eyes in the family tree. My Nana had pale blue eyes, like sky blue eyes, but that's it. So my sister and I must have got it from her on my mom's side, because my dad's side, all brown eyes. Um, my mom's dad had brown eyes. She got brown, green eyes. My Nana had, like, those pale, icy blue eyes. My sister has those. My sister has icy blue eyes. I have, like, this weird copper circle in my eyes that makes them a, not a color, which is lame. No one in my family is redhead, but we have lots of blue eyes. We don't have a shit ton of blue eyes, actually. Genetics is bizarre. It's fascinating, but bizarre. Because the anomalies exist. Oh, God. I've, I've heard, oh, my God. Mickey, did I ever tell you about my mom's friend who did him? It's a guy she works with, a nurse. So he's getting married, but um, him and his wife decided to do Ancestry.com just for fun, just to be like, oh, cool, we're getting married. Like, this would be the genealogy of our future children. And he found out not only is his dad not his dad, his parents are not his parents. He was a – no, no, no. His dad's not his dad. He was a donor baby, like a sperm donor baby. And he has over 80 siblings from one dude because this clinic didn't give a fuck and they didn't regulate or anything. And his parents never told him. This guy's like 40. Aw, newbie, nice.
are your eyes green or blue? People, I never get that. I just get, what color are your eyes? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. I put gray on everything because they just, they're two colors. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, Mickey. I was just, that's exactly what I said. When my mom told me that story, I'm like, can you even fucking fathom? Like, I just remember all the times I was like, mom, do I look like you? Do I look like dad? Like, oh, I do. I look like this family member. I must have got my nose from that. Like, I definitely have my dad's nose. I have my dad's hands, his feet. And then to be told at 40 that it was all bullshit. It was just a 40-year lie. Whoa. I'd be fucked up. That's wild. I... You got to be honest with your kids, man. You never know what technology is coming up in the future. Oof. Oh, and there was another one my mom told me about where apparently there's this, like, lawsuit going on. This one doctor back in, like, the 60s, he used his own jizz to inseminate, like, thousands upon thousands of women. Instead of actually using donor sperm, he would, like, take donations of sperm and just toss it and jerk off into a cup. So he had, like, thousands of babies. Ooh, they actually bought... Brought my mom the wrong baby. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, I would have thrown a fit. Wow. You know, it's funny, it's excellent. So everyone on my mom's side is pretty pale hair, like light hair and stuff. But they all went white, completely white headed by the time they were like 35. So they all dye their hair dark now. And it looks so bad because you can see the grow out like so much worse. I'm just letting my gray go. But I think I got most of this from my dad and they're all dead. So I have no idea what I am. Him marrying the sister. I don't know. But can you imagine? Oh, you're going to be gray? I'd be okay with it. It's silver, so it's pretty. I think I'll be, probably be by 40. I'll probably be sil salt and pepper for sure. If I don't dye it. I've been growing it out. This is all real. All the way down to, like, the bleach stuff. So it's just it's just that spot that's heavy, though. It's, like, literally just a rogue streak, and then it's kind of littered throughout, but... I'm excited, too, Megan. I'm not afraid of aging. As long as my body still works and I'm functional, I don't feel bad. Thank you, Cinnabon. I'm growing used to it. I haven't seen it. I used to hide it. I remember my first white hair was right there. I found one and I plucked it. I was like 17, 16 or 17. And then three more shot shot up. And I was convinced that silver hair was a hydra. So I stopped doing it. But there's still, yeah, it's just been this spot. I've always had it since I was like 16. It's weird. And now they're just everywhere. Like in my hairline, there's just silver all throughout like little ones. Dude, Vissy, I'm going to be honest. A beautiful chocolate bitch and or um, gentle them with some silver hair. Mm -mm -mm. I'd hit it. Hi, K-Cat. How are you, my love? And the small percentage of inbreeding, <sighs> let's say exciting. Genetics, when I took it in school, it was fucking weird. I just learned that I'm literally, like, I am the 1% child my parents could have had. And it's really bizarre. Like, I didn't get any of the, like, what are they called? The um dominant traits. None of them. My dad had a cleft chin. No cleft chin. Parents, both brown eyes. No brown eyes. Sarah and I, blue eyed. Uh, my mom had O blood type, and my dad was AB negative. I got B negative. Like, we just ended up fucking, I was a freak child. Which was really weird to read about. Me too, sexcellent, same! Oh, I love it. I think it's, white hair is beautiful. Posted a pic in selfies that shows my silver. Yes! Fun cosmetology fact. The scientific term for silver hair is canities. Canities or canities? My mom did not enjoy me telling her constantly that she had candies. Can you tell me why they're a different texture, they stick straight up, and I can't dye them? How come they're just impervious to me? Freak child! Seriously, it's weird! 
almost also almost all the textbooks are wrong too on eye color how so like the like do you mean like what's recessive and what's dominant like pun it square for lack of a better and it's our eyes when we smile my mom and i have the exact same mouth if i show you a picture of my mom and i smiling it's the same shape we have the exact same teeth down to the front tooth kind of crosses over a little bit it's bizarre Yeah, it's not recessive and dominant. Oh, no shit. Is it that one we talked about the other day where it's a blend? Even after the horse, my braces saved my teeth. Knives, seriously. The only reason my teeth are fine is because I had braces. Otherwise, all of them would have been shattered. Braces kept my teeth in my face. It's crazy. Because those pores can't produce pigmentation anymore, so it comes out like crusty Play-Doh. Awesome. Thank you. They're fucking nasty. You pluck one out and they feel lumpy and like distort. It's just. Then just one, one gene dominant recessive. But it's is it the blendy one we talked about the other day? I can't remember what it was called. It's what the geckos do. It's like they're not a morph. They the genes blend. It's not like either or. It could be a little bit of both. I can't remember what that's called. My skin with blue eyes. Oh, my God. Vissy, there's actually a girl on um, YouTube that I used to follow, and she is a beautiful black girl with seafoam green eyes, and she was so fucking bullied. I mean, she just tells these stories that are heart-wrenching just because she was fucking gorgeous. It's pretty terrible. Really, little back dress. I mean, I know the theory. I've heard people be like, oh, yeah, redheads are going to go out of existence. There's too many humans for that to happen at this point, I don't think. With almost white eyes. Oh, man. If you look at selfies of Vissy, she has black eyes, and they're fucking pretty. Not to, like, you know, call you out or anything. It can't hold color because the cuticles on your hair are all crunchy and broken, so the color mo molecules fall out and don't get stuck on the hair shaft. No, I get that. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't have mind being bullied for being pretty. I, I think I could have skipped all the bullying, maybe. It definitely caused some lifelong trauma. I need to get a beverage, and we need to run an ad. So we're going to take the second break of 2021. And then, if Eliza would like, I would like to play some DRG with her or something. Play a game. Keep talking. We can chat casually, you know. I was bullied because I acted white. Oh, my God. I think Knives was telling me about that. Someone was telling me about that, Vissy. Like, that's like a huge thing. To be told you act white? Gluttony, I wouldn't doubt it. This is influenced by several genes, so it's technically what is known as cumulative. I do not know the English word for it. No, cumulative. I know what that means. Happy New Year, Zag. How are you? Okay, Eliza. I'm not black. And I didn't go to school with, I mean, knives. I told you that the first time I ever touched a black human was when I was 18 years old in college, right? Like, I had never been in the presence of a real black person. I grew up in white and Native American country. Like, I just didn't know. Acting white, we didn't have black people anywhere. Acted white, that's the reverse racism, right? That's gatekeeping, nasty. Yeah, like, I just don't. I don't, I didn't have black people around to hear racist shit about black people. I heard racist shit about natives. I mean, I know so many horrifically, like, racist jokes about natives. It's nauseating. <laughs> but we, I mean, there just weren't any black people. An Oreo? Oh, my God. Someone, was it Knives you told me about Oreo, too? Knives teaches me a lot of things about racism. It opens my eyes. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about it and they're like scared of it, but that's why it still exists because we don't talk about it. All right. Eliza's AFK, but I popped into discord I'm with her. Yet, oh, but... oh, okay. Just kidding. Whoa, you scared me. She's going to go AFK with me, but I popped in discord so she can talk to you guys when she gets back because I'm going to take the dogs out. Knives is trying to roast me that I've been in discord for like an hour. She usually chills until I pop in. She sits there muted. Yeah. No one else can come in here. Like... <laughs> I mean, the mods can, but the mods aren't annoying, so... Oh, fussy. See, my pop my town's population is still under 1,500. 
because no one wants to live in Kettle Falls. It's a hidey hole, yeah. It's where we sit if we really don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> this right. is the one where they can see us sitting in here, but they can't talk to us. <laughs> what a good note to go on a break. All right. <laughs> For real, stand up and stretch your dicks, get a beverage. We're gonna shoot some aliens and shit. Hell yeah. Do some stuff with our adorable little gnomes. Gr whatever, dwarves. dwarves. I'm gonna get a drink because my throat is so dry. Byron is still sub 500, no shit, wow. Dude, today feels so weird. It does, I'm it so feels tired. Wrong. I Everything feel icky. Feels wrong. Rock and stone, Pistolero, if you'd like to join us, jump on in. You got a spot, bro. I am gonna take a break real quick Ready? though, cause I gotta the pee and get a drink. Ready? All right. I mean, someone has such a fucking loud car in my street. For real though, you live on like a dead end. What I are know. they doing there? It's, it's oh, one way. of those cars that they like rig to be louder because that's the type of neighborhood. I hate it. We tr they tried to be in, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the point to making. She a lives in like an adorable little beachfront neighborhood right outside of Atlantic City in like white jersey. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a little city suburbia, but like a nice area. Yeah, and also not like cookie cutter suburbia. Heidi like holes. It is. Yards. We do call them the Heidi holes, and I love that. I love that we have Heidi holes. Two hundred kids in our band and three black kids. I mean, we had zero. I had a, it was, she was a partner in my uh, freshman English 101 class, which I did never actually have to take because I scored so high on the SAT, but nobody told me, so I took it anyways like an idiot. But she was my partner, and I, like, I grabbed her arm and shook her one time. I was like, pay attention! And quite literally had like an epiphany that that was the first time I've ever touched a black human. <laughs> it was very weird. Very sheltered life. But no racism because there were no black people it was a lot of native racism though it was just terrible private sexy time oh my god that's perfection seriously knives i i can recall it to this day weird right yeah and then i moved to baltimore <laughs> where it's the 100 percent opposite okay anyways i'm taking a break bye eliza's yes, here music run ad. yes be bought forever yeah. Hey, babe. Quick question. Bring her in our blanket. Zeke's taking Millie into Sanctuary. Hi, Millie. Nice fart, Did she just fart? Yeah. That's precious. Happy New Year's, Nicktastic! Happy New Year's, Spencer. How are you? I just got really nauseous, so I tried to make myself puke and nothing happened, so I took a Zofran. So, we're chilling for a sec. I don't know what happened. I literally took the dogs out. My stomach was like, and I was like, oh. And my Not mouth started best. to water really bad. Mm -mm. I hate you the mouth that sweats. Happens. Oh, that's always my first sign. Yep. That's when I'm like, oh, better better go find somewhere I can throw up. Yeah. Nothing came up, though. Pregnancy? Isn't it the best when it's literally just mouth sweat that wants to come up? No, that was all it was. <laughs> like, I just gagged. Nothing came out of me. Dry nothing in me. Ripped mouth sweat. Mm. A lot worse than just puking. <laughs> it is. Yeah, dry heaving is the worst, dude. If you're going to puke, you might as well have something in you to puke. Just taken in the new year? Same. We're going to play some DRG and kill some things. You're welcome to hang out. Hi, Lilith. And I'm going to watch for Baby Scorpion. Did you hit your promotion, by the way? Did I what? Did yeah, we are doing the missions for them. Um, I don't think we've done four yet. Let me see. I don't know. I don't think so. Let me look. Let me launch. Let me change my game category and then I'll Yeah, launch. she might not have finished them, but we are doing missions for them. At least. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a new... Uh, Space Dwarf new mission Goddess. Mission. I am. It's so much fun. Um, well, a new mission day, too. Is it? So I got, I got a few. Yeah. Yes. I'm doing a weapon one, I think. All right, category change. Let's launch said game. I love this game so much. I'm so addicted. Hey. Hail the Dank Lord. Oh my god, Rabbit Ray. I just love it. I mean, back in the day, I used to get really annoyed by it, but Zeke snipped, so it's funny now. Like, it's not an actual anxiety I have to worry about, whereas, like, you know, 
even if you're on birth control, even if your boyfriend's using a condom, using 10 condoms, it's always in the back of your head that an accident could happen. And it's that, like, okay. lingering. To be fair, Kate, even when I had never had sex before, if I missed a period, I thought I was pregnant. Same. So, like... Yep, I did it, too. Yeah. Oh. Seriously. It's just, like, always in the back of your head, like, the fear. Because it, I, weird like, shit's happened. Oh, yeah. There are stories of people Rod, getting pregnant from, like, toilet seats and stuff like that. Like, it is possible. It's very unlikely. Rod, we have a spot but, like, open. Come. Scary shit. It is. It's horrible. <laughs> and having a boyfriend with dead swimmers is just, like, the best. Because I can just, like, come everywhere and nothing. I had some, like, you know. Thank you. Might be Dude. offline mode, Katie. What? Oh, she always does that on Steam. You're on offline. I haven't changed it since the last time. That's interesting. I mean... It says I'm online. No, it says I'm online. What? I mean, I haven't opened the game yet. Maybe that's why oh, I'm opening. Oh, game. yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just that launched up um, Steam. I thought you launched it when you said launching. No, I have to launch. <laughs> I keep Steam down unless I'm like going to use it because it just does shit in the background. Like, it runs shit. Oh, because you have four million games and yeah. stuff, probably. It's all, like, Everything's updating. Everything's always updating. And, mm -hmm. Yep. 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 You can set, uh, scheduled times in your...